What's up, everybody, man? It's your boy, Mr. Dugar, coming at y'all with another video, man. <laughs> and today, man, I'm going to give my thoughts on a couple of things, man. The Philadelphia Eagles have made a move. They have signed former Pittsburgh Steeler nose tackle Javon Hargraves to a three-year, $39 million deal, what makes him the highest nose tackle in the league. And uh, the Eagles also don't sign Byron Jones as he lands with the Miami Dolphins, yo. Um, before I get into this video, man, for everyone, if you want to give me a file on Instagram or send me a friend request on Facebook, I'm going to have my Instagram and my Facebook information down in the description box. Um, come give me a file on the gram. Come send me a request on the book. Um, come highlight at your boy, yo. <laughs> um, honestly, man, um, when I first heard the news about Javon Hargraves, I didn't know a whole lot about the guy. I'm going to be honest with you. So I went and looked him up a little bit, you know, check out his stats, check out some of his highlights. Um, you know, I got, it's, it's pros and cons to it. The pro to it, man, he's a young guy who's constantly getting better, um, especially, you know, um, a couple of years ago he had six and a half sacks. You know, last year he had four sacks. Um, you know, he had 60 tackles this season, like 25 assisted. Um, Pittsburgh had a very good defense, yo, and he was one of the key pieces to that defense. Um, you know, he played very, very well with them, yo. Um, big, strong guy, yo, can move the pocket. Um, and he's a better pass. You know, to say he's a nose tackle, he's a solid pass rusher. Um, the one issue I have though, man, is that it is 39 million, it is 13 million a year, you know, for a guy that's, you know, good, has a lot of potential, but hasn't, you know, been one of the better, better players in this league. Um, and not to mention another thing I'm a little concerned about is that he's a no, he's a been a zero technique D um lineman. Um, the Eagles run the wide nine full three, yo. Um, so does he have the agility, you know, to, consistently get up the field, you know, and stop the run and rush the passer. You know, that's yet to be seen as a, as a nose tackle. He was doing a pretty good job of that. But can he continue to do that, you know, in a, um, you know, in a different, a whole different type of scheme? Um, he is a young guy, so that's a positive. Um, and then when you consider the fact, another thing that makes me a little concerned is I get what Howie trying to do. Howie is trying to add depth along the defensive line, which, you know, led us to a Super Bowl um, a couple of years ago. And, uh, and last year, man, besides Fletcher Cox, man, you know, Malik Jackson went out the first game of the year. Um, Tim Jernigan was in and out the lineup. Um, we also also signed Rashad uh, Ridgeway, yo, to another uh, one-year deal. Uh, he played solid at times last year before he got a little banged up so basically man we got four defensive tackles and three of them making like well over 10 million dollars a year man uh make it over 10 million dollars a year fletcher cox malik jackson and now javon hargraves is making over 10 million a year and you got hassan ridgeway yo um it's a it's a deep defensive tackle rotation um you know, we did cover ourselves for in case Malik Jackson gets banged up again. But man, um, it's not really the move, you know, that like we could we could use more D D line depth. And I'm glad we added that. I don't know if I wanted to add it at this price, like I said, for a guy that, you know, I basically had to go look him up to really see how solid that he is, you know, because he hasn't really been a guy a name that's been talked about a lot. Um, it could be, you know, a solid signing, like, you know, um, when we got, we traded for Tim Jern again a couple of years ago when he was uh, hit the Super Bowl year in his first year with the team. Or, you know, it could be another, another Jannard Avery situation where um, we got a guy that didn't have a whole, whole lot of production, but he was young and showed um, flashes. And then for a fourth round pick, he really pretty much didn't do nothing with the Eagles. So, you know, we're going to see how that go, man. I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt, even though it's not really, you know, really what I really wanted at the time. Um, and then you have former Dallas Cowboys cornerback Byron Jones signing a, I think what it was, a five-year, $82 million deal, I want to say, with the Miami Dolphins. Um, you know, obviously, he was a big-time Eagles target. Um, you know, we need a cornerback. Um, we can't go out there with just Sidney Jones, Rasul Douglas, you know, Avante Madison, Crayvon LeBlanc. We got to at least add one, you know, veteran type of guy back there, um, especially considering Darby is pretty much gone. Mills, he may may possibly be gone as it looks like Detroit's looking at him. Um, so it'll be nice to add another guy. 
Byron Jones, man, people know how I felt about him. It was one of those situations. If we get him, all right, cool. If we don't, cool. Um, I know he's a good corner, but I don't think he's a great corner. And me personally, my own personal issues, I don't trust former Cowboys, man. I just really don't trust signing former Cowboy players, man. Um, you know, I know he's, like I said, you know, he's a young guy, fast, long arms. He's good, but I don't know if he's worth the, the 16 and a half, you know, $17 million he going to get, you know, from the Miami Dolphins per year. Um, so, I mean, hey, we good, man. You know, there's still guys out there. You know, there's Darius Slay. You know, Desmond Trufant got cut by the Atlanta Falcons. And obviously, there's the draft. Um, James Bradbury also signed with the New York Giants. So, we may not go to... You know, it's either for, I feel like we either trade for Slay or sign True Fight, or we're gonna strictly, um, you know, depend on the draft. Um, but he's an Eagles target, man. Um, he's been linked to the Eagles a lot, and obviously, we don't get it done. Um, which, you know, I'm not really tripping too hard off of that. But I will say this, man. One thing I am concerned about when it comes to Howie Roseman is it looks like he's been going after a bunch of like lower tier name guys. You know, to try to, you know, hit lightning in a bottle as opposed to before, you know, um, signing a guy like Alshon Jeffrey, signing a Tory Smith, you know, um, bringing in a Tim Jernigan a couple of years ago, making the trade to get a Ronald Darby, who at the time was a really, really solid corner. Um, you know, and now it's like he's going after these lower tier guys, man, um, guys without, you know, huge names like. You know, there was guys, like I said, there's guys out there. <laughs> but, you know, he decided to go for a guy. Though he's been somewhat productive, it's not a big name, man. So, obviously, there's still some names out there. You know, receivers, there's still Amari Cooper. There's still Robbie Anderson, Brashard Perriman. And corners, like I said, there's Darius Slayton, you know, and there's um Desmond Trufant. So, let's see what we do probably later tonight or tomorrow. But, um, Javon Hargraves, welcome to Eagle Nation. I hope you... You know, it's not that I don't think he's a good player. It's just that he's not a splash that I was looking for. But I hope he could come in, be healthy, and really do his thing. And Fletcher Cox will be dominant again. And we have a great D-line rotation again. You know, um, and Byron Jones heads to the Miami Dolphins. A good for the Dolphins. They got him and Xavier Howard now. A nice, solid duo at corner. And uh, I guess the Eagles just didn't want to pay that price, man. Like I said, I don't trust former Cowboys like that anyway. So I'm all right. Um, but with that being said, man, that's all I got for y'all tonight. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Go on, hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe, man. I'm going to have Philadelphia Eagles and NFL content throughout the year. Also, this coming Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Central, 3 p.m. Pacific. I'm going to do a live Q&A. Y'all can come on there, ask me anything, tell me anything. I'll answer your questions, respond to your comments, and give you a shout-out on the live, yo. Uh, y'all should join me. It'll be some good stuff. Until then, yo, y'all have a blessed one. Fly, Eagles, fly.